To get the 2TC achievements, you need to complete a game of chimps using just two towers. We're going to be doing this with the carrier flagship and Gwendolyn today. In update 41, the carrier flagship has received a bunch of changes, some nerfs, but also buffs as well. So the mini planes, they now produce two projectiles, but each of their projectiles is halved in pierce. But I like to think that is a buff in some ways because you're not always using that pierce. So just doing that initial damage is a very nice to have. And Gwendolyn? Oh, Gwendolyn's had some changes as well. So let me just put down Gwendolyn and let me go through what has been changed about our beloved Primo Pyromaniac. So... Level 1 and level 5 pierce reduced, and also level 13 pierce reduced as well for its main attack. Uh, the cocktail pierce has been reduced in both level 3 and level 7, but level 11, the pierce actually increases, so that's really nice. So, harder early game, but better late game, but this is where it gets really spicy. The level 10 and level 16 Firestorm Moab damage over time damage has increased by 5. So every second or every time the amount of damage ticks by, the amount of damage cast has increased by 5. Level 20 Cocktail Balloon damage has been increased from 2 to 5. While with Moab damage, it increases from 5 to 8. Level 20 Firestorm Balloon damage has increased from 5 to 15. And Firestorm Moa damage increased from 25 to 30. So yeah. these are very nice changes for Gwendolyn because Gwendolyn honestly is yes. underwhelming. And when you put down just hugely increased damage, the damage itself is not that huge in any way. So, I mean, obviously, the amount of damage that's cast yeah. depends on how many balloons she is able to ignite with her abilities. But at the same time, her balloon, she's not that good. Okay. One of the biggest nerfs to hit the carrier flagship is that the mini plane darts, or even like the mini plane explosives, if I remember correctly, they can no longer pop black balloons yes. without some kind of help. And where are we going to get their help? Yes. Gwendolyn is heated up, so every few seconds creates a powerful blast wave of fire that pops balloons and adds fire to nearby oh monkeys. So, we can temporarily have our normal type of attack back with Gwendolyn's heated up trait. But it also requires Gwendolyn to be able to actually attack balloons in order to be able for her to actually cast it onto the balloons and then from there, the uh, Buccaneer here. Purple balloons are going to be a little bit of an issue because Gwendolyn cannot damage them until level... Uh, no, not 13, 16. Firestorm has increased duration. Uh, it doesn't matter. Uh, purple balloons are no longer immune to Gwendolyn's attacks, which is going to be very vital for round 95, which is when <laughs> uh, there's going to be a lot that's going to hit the fan there. Round 27 is done. Get the destroyer upgrade, and Gwendolyn is going to be able to provide us means of lead popping, but temporarily able yeah. to give heat up to the destroyer so that it can also pop lead. Yeah. Gwendolyn, you're telling me you cannot reach all the way over there. You mean you mean the thing that you can physically see over there, you cannot go over and engulf balloons with your flamethrower. I am really disappointed. More purple balloons, but guess what? The destroyer is at hand. The destroyer of balloons. Lead balloons, no issues here with lead balloons. And while the destroyer has that icon above, its head, which has Gwendolyn's portrait on it, we'll be able to pop lead balloons with our attacks. Level 4, sorry, not level 40, round 40, level 40. That would be, um, I don't know, a mod and a half to be able to implement new levels to heroes. I don't know why, but Holly Gwen just reminds me of a, um, a laughing god disciple or something like that from Warhammer 40k. Like, with this costume and all the gizmos and gadgets she has, she looks like she would literally be with, um, I've forgotten the name of that god itself, actually. Like, with the laughing god and all that jazz. They just said, they defend something called the Black Library, but it's just, this aspect, it just looks like it would fit in very well. The laughing god. They laugh at really heinous acts of, like, horribleness inflicted upon others. Imagine, like, 
torture and violence, but to them that's funny because it's a very grim, dark environment. Random segue there, but we've now got ourselves the carrier flagship. Now, it would be logical for me to spend the rest of my money on leveling up Gwendolyn, or Harlow Gwen in this case. But we're not going to do that until like round 98 where we can have just over a thousand left to invest into Harley Gwen so that she can reach level 20. And that's what we're going to be doing actually. We're going to be saving up as much money as possible because I can do that. We are hindering ourselves for a six digit price tag. This is really upsetting. The carry flagship no longer popping leads. This is such a trauma. Such a horrendous scenario. Both and Harley Gwen is able to deal with this threat. Absolutely no worries whatsoever. Also, that was, the, that was the BFB there. Did you notice the BFB on there? I sure didn't. This thing certainly destroyed it. Round 63, we're going to combine the might of the Cocktail of Fire and Firestorm in order to deal with all of the ceramics. Harley Gwen, oh sorry, Gwen in general, is very good at dealing with masses of balloons with both her Cocktail of Fire ability and especially the Firestorm ability. Just lots of damage across the entire field. Why do you not pop legs anymore, little planes of precarious flagship? That's just so... <laughs> no, I've not already mentioned it, but still. We're used to this thing being a lead popper, but now it can't do that without assistance from Gwendolyn or an MIB. We even like Glue Storm as well. That can be a support. In any case scenario, rip the Pirate Lord. Ninja Kiwi has done the Pirate scared? Lord dirty almost as much as they did the Perma Spike dirty back a few updates ago. It's literally, they saw its potential. They probably saw the fact that I did an all pop chimps round 140 video and chimps and they're like, nah, that thing needs to be neutered. Actually, I don't even know if they do watch my videos. It would be an absolute honor if they did, but I don't expect them to do so because they have their own other things to do during the day. And of course, the fact that there are much bigger influence, sorry, influ, oh, I forgot how to pronounce it now, influencers out there that cover this game that have a much, 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 much bigger following than I do, so there'll be more, much more of a, um, I don't know, a more important source of information. I'm not too sure. Me struggling to pronounce influence or influencer. Pretty bad, honestly. It's not one of those words that you should be hard on pronouncing and stuff like that, but I guess for me and my own niche little difficulties in life, I guess that is going to be the case. Gwendolyn is now at level 14. Firestorm again. And do you think we're going to struggle on round 79? Almost said level 79 again. I keep mistaking level and round. Does anybody else give a mix up or is it just me? I'm hoping I'm not, but at the same time, I hope I am. You know, I hope I am because it means I'm the only one who's been silly in that regard. But at the same time, it's like level round. They're very similar in their own ways because they pro both present a stage in the game. Let's see. Harla Gwen still at level 14. Will be level 15 next round. Firestorm will soon have increased duration and does more damage. Also good for round 95. No longer has to worry about purples being a thing against Gwen. Not a single hiccup so far. Not a single round failure. But I, I, know, I know though that this, the game is going to give me a curveball. And I am actually going to fail a round. In which some people would say no you have to start from the beginning again. Otherwise it's not true chimps fashion. You won't get black border and the achievement if you restart a round. That's not proper etiquette of Balloon's Tower Defense 6. And do I have to say to that? I don't care. Well, it's not that I don't care, but it's like I don't want to waste another 20 minutes just to get to the same point. Just to meet a very, very niche quota that somebody casts upon me. Thank you very much. There goes round 85, round 86. I do think round 95 could give us a few hiccups and round 98 especially will give us a few again, hiccups. Again. It's all about ability timing or being able to get as many abilities out as possible in order to, you know, be able to do as much damage as possible. I would like to have 
Like, <laughs> I'd like to have Firestorm ready for round 99 because of fortified deities and then giving this the ability to be able to pop players. Also, yeah. when um, Gwen reaches level 17, any empowered towers will be able to do bonus damage to lead which also includes ddt's because ddt is a lead balloon it's a black balloon and it's a camo balloon but we're more interested in the lead part of its properties round 89 here we go fortified moabs and then fortify ceramics from there then fortify bfb to fortify mode and fortify ceramics so many fortifies around 89 it's annoying Oh dear, but wonderful world of balloons town defense. Let's see. Round 90. Let's see. With our beloved Firestorm ability, our planes can damage the DTs because it's no longer making that sound effect. Use Cocktail of Fire, but I honestly think it's too close to round 93 to use the Firestorm ability because I really need the Firestorm surrounds with DDTs on so that our carrier flagship can damage the DDTs. It's almost like Ninja Kiwi said, nah, they're not damaging DDTs anymore. And we're like, yeah, but we have a solution and it just requires a particular tower for us to be able to do that in and they are just gonzos. I'm sure there's not been any major bugs discovered in update 41 like people have with like, let's say, the um the plasma monkey fan club quantum entanglement bug that happened a few updates ago where you were able to just dr drastically dramatically catastrophically increase the attack rate of any given point in time of a tower as long as you're able to um do the uh, correct steps towards that say so even like your true sun god is able to do that okay so now let's put down the cocktail of fire here to be able to deal with this so i want to time this so that we can ignite the firestorm while every single ddt is on the field there we go we've got that down and dusted and that is i don't want to hear that ticking sound there we go heat up managed to stay on to the carrier flagship which is brilliant still a flawless run so far but round 98 is still giving me the heebie-jeebies. If we go for this flawless, then this is a chimp's guide, a black border guide for logs. Just place down two towers and you can get that sweet old black border for logs. Which is honestly the easiest map because of the amount of room that you have on logs before the balloon gets from the start to the finish. Like, it is the longest track and I believe it's like only just uh, just longer than scrapyard and then resort after that and if anything cubism is the fourth longest i wonder if ninja kiwi is going to make a map that's going to be longer than logs in scrapyard like that'll be the day where some new two tcs could be tested out i really want to get the first the biggest one two tc out there i love the biggest one it is honestly such a great tower i love it nowadays i used to really hate it but it's like uh, if i just spent enough time with it i would be able to get what people are talking about in that stage see firestorm yeah yeah maybe i should have done some different timing with the abilities there but nah we're gonna go through with this can we do it okay i'm gonna put that down perhaps that was wrong oh yeah that's probably the wrong timing actually of using that but no i'm not napping okay you're doing 50 percent of a work here grendlin okay you're not just the only one you're not just one amongst the millions of monkeys popping balloons okay you're doing 50 percent of a work well, it's like, oh yeah, of course, I forgot about this. Actor. Put 1180 onto Gwendolyn, and now our Firestorm should be able to do much more damage now. Let's use Cotter Fire early, actually, just so that we can get a second use of it later. Uh, come on, please. Yeah, this round is honestly a little bit hectic. Once we get through all of the... It's a fortified balloons, which are the problem. Oh no, just a few more balloons, really? 
Uh, that would have been near for the fortified balloons, which are main menace of this round. There goes all of the fortified balloons. Now it's just a matter of a big amount of peers to try and intervene with. Can we do this, please? This is the last challenge. There we go. Round 99. Fortified ETs, get out of here. No thank you. Um... So yeah, we run out of heated up, for goodness sakes. Well, that's much better, honestly. Around 100. A unique voice line for the bad. And you love the colors of the bad. <laughs> Not for the fact that it is a huge ass threat to our survival here. The bad on paper is the balloon with the most amount of HP. Like when you think about like, ultra late game it's always going to be the fortified bad which is going to have the most amount of hp rather than your uh, blue narius or your lich or your phase or dread balloon or oh yeah there's vortex as well that's my least favorite oh our firestorm ability that's going to be really sketchy oh no please tell me i can use firestorm into thank goodness for that if I did not have Firestorm any sooner, I swear we would have to restart this entire run. That was horrible. Okay, so I'm going to put you down there, actually. Last line of defense cocktail. Well, that was not needed. So Firestorm was definitely needed for like around 100 to be back in time. And goodness sakes, that was too close for comfort, honestly. So... Carrier flagship is obviously our star of the day with 1.83 million pops. I think Gwendolyn, yes? I was going to say not far behind, but very far behind with 200 and around about 212,000. But it's this heat up ability here that trait, sorry, that enables the carrier flagship to be able to hurt lead balloons, which enables us to be able to do that much damage to DDTs. So that, in a way, is above the Vicaria flagship, but I would honestly would rather have normal damage type and sharp. Like, I've just been brought up with Vicaria flagship knowing that it does that. Uh, anyways, thank you all so much for watching. This has been a 2TC with Gwendolyn of all towers to consider. Thank you all so much for watching, and take care of yourselves, everybody.